Sharon Presnell, I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Organovo in San Diego. I've been working in the tissue engineering space for probably about 20 years and looking for ways to get cells off the culture dish and into three-dimensional structures for use in, you know, whether it's drug discovery or therapy, three-dimensionality. We are, we are three-dimensional people. Our tissues are three-dimensional, and we ask a lot of questions that guide drug development and uh, regenerative medicine. We ask a lot of questions in 2D. And so the core for us is really about getting to, to three-dimensional structures that are fully cellular, that recapitulate very specific architectural and functional elements of human tissue, and using that to change the paradigm of drug discovery. The drug development process today is hampered by several different things. We're making decisions very early in the process and all the way through the process based on data that are collected from systems that don't really represent the living human in vivo. And so that's a big problem, I think, in the drug discovery industry is really being able to get to the to models and asking our questions in context. Human beings are outbred largely non-compliant. They all have different diets and we do studies in inbred uh, rodents with you know genetically engineered systems so that they're all exactly the same. And then we wonder why there's marginal efficacy um, of drugs when they come out on the market. I think you know it is it is time for a courageous move and to start asking these questions in a very different way. Organovo is focused on developing three-dimensional tissue models, um, and so one of the products that we're working on and focused on is three-dimensional liver, and we were interested in incorporating the iPS cells, the iCell hepatocytes, into our constructs to see how they would perform. When we start working with any particular tissue, and this was true for our liver tissue as well, we focus first on the primary cells. We're limited um, in terms of the numbers that are available, just like everyone else that works with primary hepatocytes. So, you know, those come from livers that are not used for transplant, and the supply is limited. And they're also very, very specialized, highly functional cells that are hard to reproduce. So we've looked at everything from this, the common cell lines that are used to uh, primary hepatocytes. And that's kind of led us down the road of examining if the iPS iCell hepatocytes would be compatible with bioprinting and would be able to be fit into our liver product. The tissues that we've made with them are absolutely beautiful morphologically. The functionality is there. CDI was really good at providing instructions and you know got on the phone and made sure that everything that we've received from them we've been able to use. Um, their instructions around how to kind of unpackage the cells and process the cells and get them ready for printing, um, that was all very fluid and, and very uh, done very well. The field of regenerative medicine I think has been impacted by the evolution of the IPS technologies simply because it becomes possible for us to have a supply of cell types that previously have really not been available. The greatest opportunities in my mind are around the very specialized cell types like beta cells, hepatocytes, uh, neurons, things that aren't easily accessible or um, can't be propagated outside of the body and cultured outside of the body easily. And to me, this opens the door for a lot of new um, avenues of discovery, whether it's 3D bioprinting, from Organovo or IPS cells that offer alternatives that have not been available before, put those technologies together in various forms and really bring something new and different to the drug discovery arena.